What's up, YouTube? I'm Saxon Goth. Today I'm going to be teaching you about nutrition and how it changed my life. When you think about nutrition nowadays, you see a lot of kids snacking on Doritos or Oreos. All that stuff is so bad for you. And when I discovered a couple pages on nutrition, for me it pretty much changed my life because I changed my diet for the better. And when you start eating junk again, you really feel how bad it is for you. So one of the keys to a good diet is your oils, your fats, all that. So what I got is some organic ghee. Um, tallow, butter, also really, really good options. It has to be like organic butter. There's a lot of fake butter out there. Um, clean animal fats. Now, if you're going to be talking about like non-animal based uh, oils, then I prefer some organic avocado oil, extra virgin olive oil. Uh, I got some virgin coconut oil, organic, always get organic. You want to avoid pe as many pesticides as possible and always look for glass because if it's in plastic, you're going to be absorbing a lot of microplastics. Now, another cool thing that you can do with say tallow, um, you can, it's really good for your skin. So you can rub that on your skin. It's also used as a moisturizer. Even I've seen Paul Saladino use it as a sunscreen. And back to what I said about microplastics, some of the side effects of that can be, I'll put some studies up, um, can lower your testosterone, and that is not something you want as a guy. So, yeah. Another necessity in the human diet, meat. Now, don't get me wrong, I appreciate people that are trying to better themselves if they think that vegetarian or vegan, at least they're doing something about their diet, but that's, that's not healthy. Most of the time, that stuff is not healthy, especially vegan. It's a completely different level when you're going vegan. You'll see people eating beyond beef, impossible meat. That shit looks disgusting. I'll pop up a picture of what that shit looks like. Don't eat that if you're a pussy. It's literally just chemicals, seed oils, and texturizing powder. It's Disgusting. Do not eat Beyond Beef. Do not eat Impossible Beef. Okay, so now we got, what is this? Is this venison? Yeah, so we got some venison here. Great option. Um, and then obviously my go-to, pretty much I eat this almost daily, honestly. I mean, look at this. That's 19 grams of protein, four servings per container. That is so good. 80-20 is my go-to or 85-15. Always get grass-fed, but if that's too expensive, then ground beef, anything. I mean, it's pretty affordable. Um, I prefer grass-fed because, I mean, you don't want them to be fed corn and soy, all that BS. Um, now, as for meat, it's super healthy for you because it has the most bioavailable nutrients that you can get out of stuff like this like broccoli, I mean, it's a little bit more of a cleaner source for nutrients, so that's just what I believe. If you're trying to get the gains, eat meat. Uh, that Beyond Beef might have protein in it, it's just fake protein, like soy protein. This is, this is good protein for you. It's probably the best bulking food. Um, pretty nutriently dense, obviously, but how many calories are in this? To be honest, I don't, oh, 290. Per, for a fourth of this, so this is great for bulking if you're trying to get a, a calorie surplus. I mean, just amazing. Next up, these are pretty much sweeteners. I, I mean, they're just, they're super sweet, but I mean, I prefer these because they're so much more natural and there actually is, this isn't just sugar. Honey is really, really good for you. It is known to boost your immunity and that is something I'm into because I hate it when I get sick, which I rarely get sick. Um, but yeah, really, really good to add to, I've seen people add to their ground beef. I'm not going to be doing that personally, but I mean, you can put this on yogurt, fruit is probably my favorite. I love it with some blueberries. So obviously maple syrup can pretty much go in anything. This is really good for protein shakes too. Both of these are really good. Um, yeah, this is just the cleanest source. Like if you're going to get raw honey just always get the organic always organic i mean 
There's a lot of, don't be getting scammed. There's so much fake honey, so much fake maple syrup out there. But if you get a real one, it can benefit your health. Okay, next up, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of nuts, but this is probably one of the cleanest things you can do if you're doing nuts. Just get it with only one to two ingredients. Like this is literally just dry roasted macadamia nuts and sea salt is my go-to nut nut right here, but um, don't clip that. Um, <laughs> it's a good bulking food, 230 calories for one fourth cup. So, I mean, damn, that's a lot of calories right there. Macadamia nuts, it's another good bulking food. Um, yeah, I mean, not the hugest fan because there is stuff in nuts where say phytic acid or pretty sure it's in beans, lectins. Just gotta be careful with that. If something's coming from a plant, that stuff can damage your gut. But I mean, this is some clean nuts right here. So. This is a food that you gotta be kind of careful with because chicken can be, eggs can be such a dirty thing to eat. I mean, this one is really good though from Trader Joe's. Organic pasture raised, large brown eggs, no antibiotics, no added hormones. Gotta look at the labels. Even if it just says cage free, you don't know what's in there. Cause I mean, they have to be pasture raised. I mean, personally, I like eggs a lot. Very nutriently dense, especially in the egg yolk. Always eat your egg, egg yolk. Now, good thing about eggs, I mean, there's a decent amount of calories, a good amount of protein, it's my go-to breakfast, and you can easily crack four or five in one serving. I mean, that's pretty good to eat in one sitting. Ditch your low fat bullshit milk. <laughs> All right, now what we got, 100% grass fed. Uh, this is some half and half. I like to add this to my coffee personally. Um, if you're getting low fat milk, you're not absorbing all the nutrients because a lot of that stuff, they have to, the process to get that, all the strip all the fat out, not good. And you're getting rid of all the nutrients. So another thing that, to be honest, I don't really do, I don't really drink this stuff that much, but I know it's good for you. Um, maybe I need to start drinking this, but this is some 100% uh, grass fed organic probiotic kefir. Um, it's pretty much, it's like, almost in between yogurt and milk in a sense, I guess. But um, I'm pretty sure it's known to be really good for you. Don't, also when you're looking at this stuff, it's gonna have sugar in it. I mean, it's inevitable if you're having dairy most of the time. But if you look at the label here, no added sugar. If you're gonna be eating sugar, don't eat added sugar. Next up, we got some fruit juices. No. Preferably, I like to eat the actual fruit more. Um, but first up, we got some grapefruit juice. It's a good option. Now, if I'm looking at that, there's protein in this? Okay, well, there's gonna be sugar. Like I said before, it's gonna be sugar, fruit juice, known to have, it's not just sugar water though. If you look at all the vitamins, tons of vitamin C and orange juice, I mean, there's some coconut water, my favorite, just because I I, I, uh, I had a sip of this, so delicious, organic coconut water from Trader Joe's. Um, really good source of magnesium right here. You always want magnesium. It's really good for your sleep. And when you're recovering from, say, a workout, this is like a good post-workout drink. So another good thing about coconut water is so many electrolytes. Now that I'm looking at it. 650 milligrams of uh, potassium in this. There's some calcium in this, um, some sodium, magnesium. I mean, this is amazing, you guys. Drink coconut water. If you don't like the taste, just drink it. Small amounts at first, you'll get used to the flavor. That's how my brother was who's filming. Um, yeah, get your coconut water. Next up, we got fruit. This is the best source of carbs that you can get. Um, personally, one of my favorite fruits, apples, I love blueberries. Um, let's get into bananas and oranges. These are both really, really good options. Now, you can see that these fruits have thicker shells or skin, I guess. Same with watermelons. These are fruits that I wouldn't mind as much if you don't get organic because they're not going to be absorbing as much of the pesticides. With lemons, 
These are really good. I like these because one of like my biggest fears is kidney stones. These lower your risk of that. Now, I think I have an avocado right there. Those are really good for your heart. Um, all of these are just amazing foods. I love fruits. Taste amazing. Easy thing, easy snack. Eat your fruit. Cut your vegetables. To be honest, I don't eat that many vegetables. I'll eat it if it's a curry or a stew, but I'm not a huge fan. Broccoli is one of the easiest ones for me to eat. Um, I, I know that it uh, lowers your risk for diabetes and it improves your immunity, just like a lot of these things right here. You're gonna be built strong if you're gonna be eating and drinking all these things. Um, another good thing, organic. Always gotta get organic. No, your supplements, very important. I have some elements here right here. Now I do love this because there's no artificial sweeteners, um, good good source of sodium, but not to knock an element so you love the taste. I feel really good after I drink it. Really good for your workout if you want to get pump. Um, but I would say my favorite is probably my Santa Cruz Paleo electrolytes. I got the lemon lime and the mango. Um, Cause this actually has the, when you sweat, you lose nutrients at a certain ratio. He did the exact amount of uh, ratio. If you wanna see the ingredients, they're right here. Um, magnesium, sodium, and potassium, I think it was. Yeah, those three. He has the right ratios of all three of those. Now, this is amazing for workouts or if you're, say you're an athlete and you're doing a lot of sports and you're doing a lot of cardio, um, these are great for rehydration rather than say a Gatorade. Now, I also have this protein powder, Santa Cruz Paleo. Um, I love whey protein. I think it tastes the best. Um, this is sugar-free, gluten-free, keto paleo, 100% grass-fed, got the vanilla, and the chocolate. Um, Brendan always delivers with the products, always tastes amazing. I'm not doing a whole advertisement for him, but I mean, I love his products because they're clean. Let's see how much protein, 20 grams of protein per scoop. And I love to mix this with, you know, honey, Coconut water is really good in a shake. Um, bananas, and um, we walk over to the uh, pantry right here. I also like to add some peanut butter. Um, make sure with your peanut butter too, gotta be clean with this. This only has peanuts, that's it. Oh, and salt, and yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what content you wanna see in the future. Um, yeah, I think this was just a great start to my uh, first video. Make sure to like, subscribe, do whatever you need to do, comment, and uh, peace.